wearing the white now and attacking the basket to the right. And the entry pass, and Mike Toby played very well in that first that first uh, quarter with five points. It was about to really all five of these guys. I, I think people tend to forget what Poland achieved in the last several years. Here it is again, down to Toby. Dunk. Luka Doncic really. Chanchar, tough catch. Takes it back out. Now he's going to get it over to Doncic, who goes in for the layup. Slaughter steps up to the three-point line. Front and back, stays out. Oh, look at the pass from Doncic. That is ridiculous! Oski trying to trap. Look at that pass. Chanchar knows what to do with that. Not upgraded. And here goes Prepolic. Doncic. It's only a matter of time. So second quarter underway. Doncic, no look, and the lob to Chanchar. Mateus Panika finds a way to impact big games. Ah, big three-pointer. Luka Doncic, maybe that's going to be the first of many for him. A pass up to Sokowalski from Panitka. Here, it was knocked away. Doncic, Luka Doncic trying to get into his go time mode. Here he is, the three, and that's good news for Slovenia. Luka. Gets into the paint, puts it up. Here comes Slovenia, closing the gap to 10. Rimmed out, but here's, this is what we need to see more from Slovenia. Spread the floor, get to the rim, Luka. And again, on the Polish side, they're relying on their three-point shot so much. You'd love to see them try to- And they're gonna have to get a timeout. Even the threes are too deep. The lob inside to Toby! Slovenia, alive and kicking. Oh, and kind of clattered into him. And he's uh, getting up a little gimpy, but it seems okay now. But I think if you're Slovenia, you're happy with Burridge's minutes, and you're happy to get Chancho on that one. Or Poland into the post, out of the post. Those are the type of threes they need. Chanchar, wide open. Count it! And again, Jeff, you can't say enough about Chanchar today. He's playing with confidence and being outscored 18 to 3. Slovenia can cut the deficit to two, maybe even one. Here's Blazic. It's good. And Slovenia now down by just one point. And again, this is the beauty of Luka Doncic. The last few plays hitting the post, hitting the diver, and now you see. Ziskowski pulls in too far to help on Toby, and that's Blazic's game, 3 and D. He's done it for the last years for this Slovenian national team. Outstanding defense, and now burying a big three. Here was Chanchar, one of his three-pointers. Vlatko Chanchar with the 17 points. He is two of four from deep, and also Blazic now two of five from three-point range. Look at Doncic, 14 points. Here goes AJ, drifts in, he puts it up! Poland have come back to take the lead! Technical and a technical has been called on Edo Muric, who has been barking at the referee all night long. I think it's on Luka. Oh, is it on Luka? I thought it was on Edo. Well, Luka has also been barking. Watch this. Well, it's kind of showing him up, isn't he? Does the expression, when will they learn? Ponika. That would have been incredible, but look at that. Zaskowski fouled by Doncic.
it almost feels kind of like uh, this Slovenia team has lost a little bit of its confidence or energy. Out getting very loud for Poland. Ponitka, the superstar of Poland, takes it. Pump fake. And that is it. Luka Doncic has picked up his fifth foul. He is gone. Is that going to be the last time that we see Luka Doncic at this Phoebe Eurobasket? Outstanding job. Panico waved off the screens, wanted the isolation. Again, drive, shot fake. There's the foul. Smart play from the veteran, Mateusz Panico. The two impact players from Poland leading the way. Unbelievable. Who could have thunk it? Chanchar. Run off the three-point line. Gets it to Prepolic. And Toby chases it down. Now Dragic. And he's going to go in and put it up and in. To be honest, Michael would be surprised if we had overtime the way this thing is going. Dragic. Blazic with the rebound. The MVP of the last Eurobasket, Dragic. Gets it down low, puts up a difficult shot. Mike Toby follows and puts it up and in. Four points now. Can Poland hold on? Can Slovenia come back? The most incredible Phoebe Eurobasket ever only gets more amazing. Ponitka, it's good! Having the game of his life and not saying something because he's had some great ones. Here is the key possession. You see the switch, Moric and Toby switched. Punika dribbles right into his shooting range. Steps up and shoots the ball with confidence. Poland bench and fans go crazy. But we've seen it before, Jeff. We've seen Mateusz Punika rise to the occasion. Drag it, the charge. Mateusz Punika doing it on both ends. Draws the switch, buries the big three against Toby, and then drawing the charge against Goran Dragic. Look at this. Giving up his body, laying it on the line. Dudes by Ponika. Poland facing pressure in the backcourt. And they're able to get it to Ponika, and he is fouled by Samar. What a wonderful moment. Well, I've been saying that for several years. I'm glad some other people agree. He is outstanding. Again, it's not just the players on the other side of the Atlantic that can play this game. And Mateusz Panitka is reminding everybody of that fact right now. 26 points, 14 rebounds, 10 assists. Remarkable. Timeout. Well, he had those great plays in China at the World Cup. But this is a different, different proposition here. Going up now, Blazic puts it up, misses. Rebound, Moric goes up, he gets swatted by Jiva. Poland pouring it on. Ziskowski for three. And, this, and Sokolowski with the foul. Block out, rebound, spread the floor, use the clock. Fantastic leadership from Mateus here, communicating, organizing. Should be 89-81 right now. 89-81. And second is good as well. And now they're going to try to get a turnover. They commit the foul quickly. And remember, Poland have shot. Well, their, their percentage has actually gone up here, up to 69% now. It was down in the 50s. Five rebounds, three assists. And that doesn't even get into his defensive contributions on Doncic. Yeah, again, Sokolowski, a blue collar. 
hardworking player. Play some three, play some four. Physical defender, physical attacking closeouts, can post up and rebound. Does so many things for this national team, and he did a great job against Doncic today. Eight-point lead. Ed Murray for three. Look out. Here comes Slovenia. They haven't given up the ghost. Now they get the steal, and now they're going to get the layup. And Slovenia have closed the gap to three. And Poland, when you remember Zaskowski taking that early three and then the foul, this is when the trouble started. And now they've got work to do. How quickly things change. And Chanchar has made a lot of big plays tonight, and he makes another one. Wow. You cannot relax for a second at Eurobasket. You've got to play every possession. What Mi fantastic effort here from Slovenia to fight back. You'd still rather be in Poland's position, but it feels like the momentum is now with Slovenia. And they get it to AJ Slaughter, who crosses midcourt. So about a six second differential, the game clock and the shot clock. Will they let him take it all the way down? Looks like they will. They're trying to play it out. It's a, a risky stop. strategy because AJ, he could take it to the very second, just throw it way up in the air. He's going to put it up, and he misses. Well, they've got eight seconds. they got to hurry. Prepolic. Oh, and he thought they were going to call a foul. No foul has been called. Poland have pulled off the shock of the FIBA Your basket. They have stunned the defending champions. Amazing game, amazing win. Poland, the giant killers, they win it 90 to 87 over Slovenia in advance to the semifinals of the Phoebe Euro basket. Many big plays as well tonight. And it was clear that Sokolowski was not gonna foul, and put himself in danger. They're not gonna call that a foul. You can't blame 